Most of central Florida is back to normal, more or less. There is a part of Orlando that is still in ruins, and for the people who live there, life and their stuff is still upside down. News 6's Sashel Saunders shows us how badly people in Orlo Vista need help. This was a hard hit area during Hurricane Irma when this retention pond flooded over some five feet into these homes. And now today you have groups here to help clean up. It's not a home anymore. It's like a shell. Home doesn't quite feel like it when the walls are cut out and strange smells fill the room. It's overwhelming. And definitely not when volunteers come in throwing out pieces of your life ruined by Irma. I raised four children here, so, and my mom was in this house before I came to this house, so some of her things are here and they were gone, so it's a lot. Those same volunteers, most doing community service for IBM, along with the group Rebuilding Together and other community members and city leaders, found it all hard to take in. I think that's something that you can try to say, I can understand what's going on, but until some of the rescuers were coming through and can see people actually going through that. I think that there's really no substitute for having, actually having to have gone through that. But they worked, gloves and masks on for the black mold, removing furniture and in some cases old photos, salvaging what they could. That can be saved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? So we got you. Oh, she's adorable. And those residents, they don't know if they'll come back, ever. The flood was too much, but they're yeah. thankful for the help. I'm grateful for any help that we can get, and I'm so, God bless everybody that gets, can help us. In Orlo Vista, Sashel Saunders, News 6.